Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome to episode three of the Majorat Man. And we started it off with some uh, some shards, and I tried my first trip. Wow, first trip in Void, and they killed me for that. So that was always nice. Thank you, Glaclors. Thank you very much for killing me. And I uh, got some shards of Armadil, and um, yeah, they were coming in really slow for some reason. The shards, uh, it was kind of a bummer, but um, I did hit the what was it, the 25 shard mark. So that's nice. So I am fourth of a way to an Armadil battle staff, and these first few trips were before the um, the update with the armor. So rune plate skirts look like old rune plate skirts, and they don't look really weird when you get them on the ground. So um, I do like the new armor update though. That's not me complaining. So don't uh, don't confuse that. I think the new armors look really uh, pretty sweet, especially um, especially black armor. Black armor looks badass. But and the D hides. I really like the D hides, even though right now it's kind of hard to tell who's wearing what. Which is uh, pretty pretty annoying, but I still like it a lot. And I tried my first Steel Titan trip too, and oh my god, I fucking hate Steel Tightening. It's it's kind of hard to do. I'm like, all right, attack the fucking sapping one. And he's like, kill the unstable one. I'm like, fuck you, Steel Titan. I'm gonna fucking punch you in the steel dick. You keep killing the wrong fucking one, and then I have to fucking, you know, kill the enduring one last and take 40 minutes to kill the the, the fucking Glacor because Steel Titan's like, ah, kill all the ones. Blah, blah, blah. Don't listen to you. Fuck you, Steel Titan. Now kill your mother. And then I uh, finish this trip with uh, what is it like four shards? I think this is the trip where I actually hit 25. So um, yip de do. And another thing I noticed about Glacors is unfinished adamant bolts look like shards from far away, which pisses me off. I'm like, oh, nice shards. Fuck you, bolts. Fuck you. I almost record a bunch of times, which is why I always right click to double check if it's shards, so I don't fucking record it and look foolish. But this is after the update. And as you can see, I bought back my Virtus top and bottom, which is, um, they dropped a lot, so I bought it back. And I miss my Virtus. I love my Virtus. It's, it's so pretty and, and nice. Oh, I love it. And then I uh, got a ton of rune plate skirts this trip, and I think, what, like four shards again? Or only one shard or something like that. I can't... If anyone knows how to, when you're recording with Sony Vegas 10 Pro, if anyone knows how to make the screen big but not pixelated, that would be great so I could see better. If not, um, I'll just wing it like I usually do. And I, uh, oh, that was the 25th shard right there. 25 out of 100. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And then, um, Dragon Maces. I got a lot lately. I know they're not the most amazing thing, but I think they're pretty cool to get a Dragon Mace, you know? And then, here we go, an effigy. Holy shit. And this this is obviously after the nerf. And I was like, shit, an effigy. I didn't expect one of those for, like, fucking 900 kills. And then, uh, my friend got some steadfast boots. I was like, you lucky motherfucker, stop stealing my Glade Core luck. And then I got some Rage Fire boots. Okay. Okay, Dragex. Thank you for the the three three boots in one trip was nice. But you can you can keep your Rage Fires, man. Like, I mean I'm glad I got it. It's another eight mil. But come on, man. Give me those Glavens so I have the three boots out of the way and then can just worry about the shards. And whatever boots come are, are a gift. But I have a feeling that I'm not gonna get the Glavens for a while. It's gonna be like that elusive Carol's Koi from Barrows. I'm gonna keep getting Rage Fires instead, which, you know, isn't bad, but I do want to finish the series, so Glavens would be nice, and then I can just worry about Shards, which would be awesome, so, look at that, not not bad, they're like, what, 8 point something mil, and then, uh, got th 3 Dragon Maces, Ancient Effigy, which was construction, so I couldn't do it right there, I had to do it in my house, because I'm only 90 construction, and it was 93 con, which means I had a lower chance of getting another Effigy that trip, which, kind of annoying, I was thinking of just telling and doing it, but then I was like, wait, it's not going to matter. I wouldn't get another effigy anyway. So um, I did that, got me some room crafting XP, closing in on 81, which, uh, not bad, you know. I kind of put my goal of max caping aside because I know it's, like, impossible because I hate room crafting. And then I decided to host a TD mass, and we started off pretty small, that's what she said, and it grew. We, we got a, I'm surprised a lot of my subs came to TDs. I didn't realize as many of them could even... Or, this many of you guys could even TD. And look at that Torstal Seed. So, um, maybe I'll do some more TDs in the future. Because, um, TDs are pretty boring if you go solo. And we got some Dragon Claws, so would you look at that. Yeah, buddy. But TDs are pretty boring solo to me. And even Duo, they're pretty boring. I had a lot of fun in this mass, so I think I might do TD Masses for Majorot Man clips a lot. So just, if you like that, just keep an eye out. So, um, yeah. And we got... A ton of tooth keys and loop keys, which you're, you may be thinking, oh, wow, that's not that cool. But they're actually really fucking rare at TDs. 
They're a lot rarer at TDs than other places, and we just got so many. And look at this. His little range thing glitched. I thought this was a pretty cool thing. It's slowly moving. I was like, oh, look at that. You know, that sometimes happens with, like, curse spells near Edgeville. It happens to people all the time. And I was actually the uh, the last man standing at the mass, and I, I soloed a kill and got green charms and, like, super defense or something. Yeah, super defense potions. I was like, oh, fuck this. All right, I'm gone. And then, um, yeah. Some more shards of armadil. Some more shards of armadil. Some more shards of armadil. Oh no, that's a dragon mace. My B. But, um, I actually ended this trip early and I was getting so many shards, but my internet started to shit out. And look at this, my one of my favorite drops so far. Effigy and a shard of armadil. It's pretty, pretty baller. Did it just repeat the drop? Alright, the drop just got repeated. You guys got to see that twice. You're fucking lucky as shit. But yeah, my internet was being really dodgy. So, um, got back to back shards though. And then, uh, yeah, so there's my final tab. Sorry about this uh, kind of shorter episode. It's like six minutes. It's not too bad. But um, getting my drop man clips does take a while. I have to do, you know, a lot of separate trips. Like, I would imagine I could do one trip for an episode. Revs, you know, a few trips. But this one I got to do, like, like four or five Glacor trips, a TD trip, a couple TD trips, or just one big one like I did here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had, you know, it's probably one of the more fun series to do and the more profitable one. Everyone keeps asking me for money-making guides. Guys, just watch my series. That's how I make money. It's pretty obvious. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye. <laughs> just fuck with you. I love you. Peace.